On the way flying into Sarajevo, the crew looked for surface-to-air missile fire. They'll fire flares if necessary to try to deflect heat-seeking devices. The crew is tense, more and more so as they get closer over the mountains just before dipping down toward the city. Sarajevo sits in a bowl and it was under siege surrounded by the Bosnian Serbs who were firing mortars from the hills above and sniping from the Gerbavica district of the city. The Royal Air Force pilots are forced to fly in over the mountains and get low as fast as possible to try to avoid ground fire. You could look out and see blown out buildings, some were on fire. The city at the time was completely paralyzed. Snipers were active, the temperatures outside bitterly cold. And very little food and no heat for the residents. It wasn't until the next day that a Norwegian peacekeeper told me what you saw on the plane yesterday. Plane yesterday? That I was on. When you arrived? Yes. Uh, just before you landed, we saw five or six tracers right over and under the plane. And the towers saw the same thing. So they were very worried, but we didn't tell the crew. And we didn't tell you before or after. Why? No need to. Uh, make the crew upset so uh, and it didn't hit the plane so it wasn't a problem really 